हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अमित एंड यू आर वाचिंग रोबोटिक्स इंडिया एंड लास्ट क्लास यू हैव सीन दैट हाउ वी कैन असेंबल टू डब्ल्यू डी रोबोटिक्स किट एंड दिस क्लास यू गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ यू कैन इंटरफेस द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स कंपोनेंट विद दैट ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम everyone you can see that this is uh, we have assembled last time or uh, this kit and this time you're going to use uh, arduino and this motor driver shield this motor driver shield is uh, uh, going to control our um, uh, this uh, robot and this number is l298 and and it's have two motor controller uh, uh, it can control two motors and the power source is that uh, maximum you can use 12 volt for this so let's assemble it uh, so i'm going to uh, place on the chassis and i can i found out that, that there is a problem with the uh, chassis assembly uh, let's uh, uh, reverse that uh, power source to ba re uh, back side of this okay so i'm uh, unscrewing it okay let's unscrew okay so i'm unscrewing it after that okay so i'm fitting uh, i'm fixing the battery connector to the back side of this uh, chassis okay let's uh, fit in there okay so let's uh, use the screw which i have removed previously and i'm uh, going to tight this one with this okay so let do it now let's do it with another bolt and uh, i'm going to use the screwdriver to make it little more tight okay so i'm doing that okay next uh, let it mm, get tight more okay now uh, i can see the we have a crystal wheel here uh, let's uh, uh, check uh is it uh, uh, not touching while mo mo movement okay uh, when the robot is moving a battery connector is not uh, uh stopping the movement of crystal no it's uh, fine now uh, okay it's not touching that then it's fine okay so let's uh, 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 take the wire uh, to the stop surface of the chassis okay good now uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to connect this motor wire and battery connector to the uh, my motor driver and the arduino so uh, the connection diagrams i'll be uh, displaying on the uh, this uh, video okay you can use i'm using a foam tape uh, okay for sticking the my motor driver on the motor driver and the arduino board on surface of chassis i'm not going to use the screw okay so let's uh, cut let's cut uh, cut the this foam uh, tape okay okay so i'm using a scissor here to cut the foam tape so let's uh, stick the foam tape on the chassis and remove the top layer of the foam tape okay i have uh, removed the insulating uh, uh, foam tape okay now uh, let us stick the um, arduino there now i'm going to use the motor for uh, foam tape for motor driver let's cut it for so i'm cutting the foam sheet small foam sheet for the motor driver and i'm going to stick to the uh, chassis okay so you can see uh, i have two screws here okay uh, probably it going to uh, uh, not letting the motor driver to fit there because i have very less space and i wanted to fit this motor driver there so um, what i'm going to do i'm going to extend the uh, this foam tape little up so it can uh, attach to the motor driver 
back side so let's cu uh, cut another small piece of the foam tape and uh, i'm going to stick this uh, at the top of the same foam tape which i have stick previously okay so let's do it okay i'm doing okay done now uh yeah you can see now it's uh i can see uh, our motor driver is getting stick okay and because it got little uh extruded uh because of the foam tape okay so now uh, it's time to connect the wires okay so let's start with that you can see the, the there is uh, side two uh, pins are there so those are motor pins so i'm connecting the motor wires to that okay so you can find the uh, uh the connection at the top uh, left okay so, okay so again i'm connecting the another wire of the motor to another side of the motor driver okay so let's uh, repeat the same steps for uh next uh, other side so i'm doing that let's open the screw and connect the red wire to there and i will repeat for the black wire the same way done now uh, it's time to connect the battery source okay we are using the double uh, a battery here so double a battery and adapter so i'm just uh, removing the extra coatings of the wire okay so this is the indian way we can remove the wire coating with the our nail <laughs> okay and leave it uh, i'm not using the wire cutter here because it's uh, i think it's a waste of time okay uh, i'm connecting the positive of my battery connector to the uh, left side okay you can see there will be written uh, input supply uh, v in you can connect there and the negative of you can connect in the middle of this okay let's do that okay fine i have connected the ground pin also uh, from the battery source let's uh, take some jumper wires okay after this and uh, we will going to give the power supply to our Arduino with that okay so uh, I have some jumper wire here this is a uh, male to female jumper wire and which I am going to use for uh, uh, connecting my uh, Arduino board and the uh, motor driver shield so I have taken four uh, jumper wires here so uh this uh we going to connect from the motor these are input pins which uh going to send the data control signals to the motor driver from the arduino okay so through that we going to control the direction of motor and the speed of the motor so let's connect it and uh, the diagrams uh, shown at the top you can see the which pin we going to connect this okay fine i have connected now i will use the mail uh, lid to connect with the arduino okay so let's uh, connect the wire to the arduino okay so you can see uh, i'm connecting to the this pin to digital pins of arduino so let's connect it so i'm connecting this uh, purple color to the pin number four arduino pin number four the next pin number five, uh, five, 
then I will follow the same pattern here a 5 then 6 and 7 the same pattern okay so I have uh, defined these pins in my programming okay and the programming will be in description you can find the program in the description for this so uh, I have connected the motor driver now uh, let's it's time to give the power supply to Arduino through this uh, motor driver okay I'm using the same uh, power supply for both okay let's connect it and see it is it uh, this much power supply is enough for uh, driving Arduino or not so I have connected the positive to the same then I'm taking a ground wire and going to connect uh, in the center of the motor driver power supply pin now uh, I'll be connecting this one to the V in and uh, GND of the Arduino board. Let's connect it. So red I'm connecting to the. You can connect in the five volts also. Okay, you can give the power supply to the five volt and this GND to drive the Arduino. Or you can uh, go to the V in and from there you can give the supply. But let's. Uh, do it from the 5v and we'll check okay i have connected everything let's uh, connect the battery and check it is the connections are correct or not so i'm connecting the battery here uh four double a battery now i have connected the batteries here okay so sorry So you can uh, after connecting the battery you can see uh, the red light is glowing in the motor driver and green light is glowing inside the Arduino. So we can see the connection is correct uh, because our power supply is working fine here so no interruption so the uh, our uh, connection is right. So let's remove the battery and uh, we'll uh, uh, connect uh, to the, our uh, this Arduino to our computer and we'll upload the program so I'm using here uh, B type USB and I'm connecting to the Arduino and then I'll use the USB port to the my laptop a USB device okay. has been from where I'm going to upload the code and I'm using Arduino ID to uh, upload the code because it is the easiest way to do that so I'm going to select my board first. I will go inside the tool and uh, I will select port uh, board. So go to the AVR board manager and I'm selecting Arduino Uno because I'm using Arduino Uno. And now I will select the port, go tool and the port and the comp 15 is Arduino Uno. I will be selecting that then I will click upload so you can see the down uh, the code uh, compiling is started okay after that soon it will upload if there is no error found in the sketch so let's see that is any error in the code no okay it started uploading done uploading okay so fine we have uploaded the code successfully now it's time to uh, witness our robot walking in action so let's connect the battery and we'll see that uh, is it uh, working or not so i'm connecting the battery with the uh, battery holder so, okay three done one to go okay fine i have connected and now you see the lights are glowing and one motor is spinning and i can see another motor is not spinning maybe the fault with the motor sometime or the power supply is very less maybe the batteries are not uh, that much uh, having uh, ampere to drive the two motors let's see that what is the problem okay so i'm trying to rotate the motor with the hand and we'll see that if the motor is rotating or not so uh, you can see the motor is rotating but it uh, required more power supply 
we'll do one thing we'll connect with the usb of uh, power supply we'll give more power supply and we'll try to drive this uh, robot and check it the is it the problem with the power supply or uh, yeah you can see this was the problem of power supply our uh, both motors are running fine okay it's going forward and backward this was the code only i have given backward and forward so next class will be knowing how we can control this one with the our uh, uh, bluetooth control we'll be using a bluetooth uh, module to control this robot uh, direction movement okay so see you in next class and uh, happy tinkering and keep watching robotics india please don't forget to like and subscribe see you next week thank you bye bye take care